Well, you guys got another smartphone here for you. This is another Blue Boo uh, review of their uh, smartphone range. This one is the S8. And as you can see, the specs on here are the MT6750T Octa Core. Also, the Android 7.0 is on here. 5.7 inch uh, screen on there as well. 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, dual and rear cameras, 16 megapixel plus 3 and uh, plus 8. And you can see here the DPI on the uh, actual screen resolution there for this one is 1440p by 720. 3450 milliamp hour battery on this particular phone as well. Now this is around about $140 uh, to buy. So what we're going to do is take a look at it. Everything you get in the box is what you see here. A USB Type-C charging cable. Also you got your two pin prong plug here with a USB adapter on there to charge it. Now you will have to use uh, an adapter there if you wanted to use this in the UK. As you can see here, we've got a, a welcome sort of card here to say thank you for buying their product. Also got a screen uh, protector here. We got the Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack there because it doesn't have an audio jack on it. So you can use the Type-C connector with that audio jack if you need to use the 3.5mm. Got a warranty card and we have a user manual with all the information inside here on how to use your phone and set it up. It's in many different languages here as you can see. And uh, I'm not sure if there's any pictures in here. It's just mainly all text really. And uh, also you've got a back plastic uh, cover here and your, your SIM tray removal uh, tool in there as well. And also you're gonna get your uh, Blue Boo S8 mobile phone. Now at first glances, this looks really stunning. I do like the look of it. It's got those curved edges, that nice chrome finish, and that uh, electric blue sort of uh, finish to the back of the phone and the sides of the phone. I do like the look of it, and uh, it's very heavy to hold in the hand. It's not sort of a lightweight phone. And of course a Chinese phone won't be a Chinese phone without them trying to copy something and they've obviously tried to copy the Galaxy S8 and you can see here the thickness of it as well. Uh, it's got a chrome side to it and it does have those rolled edges on there as well to sort of mimic uh, an infinity sort of display there. You can see the forward facing uh, camera on the front here and the earpiece speaker and also we have the sensor there. On the other side, uh, we have the rocker button. This is for your volume, and uh, these are made of metal as well, and the side pieces are made of metal. On the other side, we've got another rocker button, which is your power button as well uh, for the phone. And of course, on this side, we have a speaker, and they've only put one speaker on here. Um, most of the phones you see have got one speaker. You've also got your Type-C connector there, but most of the phones have only really got one speaker. They put a dummy uh, speaker in as well. Now on the back we have a dual flash, LED flash there, and cameras. Now also you can see here we have a, a fingerprint scanner on this particular type of phone. And that's not too bad for a sort of budget type of phone here. Now on the very top here you can see that SIM tray. And uh, you could just use your SIM tool to remove that and put in your SIMs and your micro SD card in there as well. Now also let's just have a look around the phone itself you can see those nice beveled edges there and of course uh, the nice screen which uh, does give a nice uh, display and I think at this price point you can see those plastic plastic parts there at the bottom the little lines there as well and you should also be able to see the curved edges around the corners and also the sides there so it does look quite nice at this sort of price point it's definitely not a Samsung Galaxy uh, sort of uh, level but it is a decent sort of budget entry phone really now there was an update as soon as I powered this on but as you can see the first look on the phone it looks pretty nice this is your settings panel here and uh, you can see pretty much standard for Android they just changed a few of the uh, icons and stuff like that to suit this sort of phone slide that out on the side and you've got the set it more settings here where you can access these as well and I'll go through all the specs and stuff a little bit later on in the video so make sure you stick around now also we can take a look at the about phone you can see we do have the Android 7.0 and we also have Android security patch levels July 5th 2017 now also I'm going to do some benchmarking here so you can see the benchmark scores and first off we're going to start with the first benchmark so you'll be able to get an idea 
of how good or bad this phone is. You can see here that you've got the 40,817, which isn't too bad for a sort of budget phone. Let's go ahead and do the uh, Geekbench 4 uh, benchmark here. And you can see on the single core, we've got 607, and also the multi core, we're getting 2,287. Now, also on the multi touch test, I could only get a maximum of five uh, touches on the screen. And I also did a stage fright on this and it come up with uh, no vulnerabilities now also checking out here we have the nuggets 7.0 android as you can see the api level is 24 the cpu has got eight cores free, actual ram is three gigabytes physical available ram is 2883 and you can see there we have the mt 6750t uh, cpu also you get six sensors on here accelerometer magnetometer orientation, light, proximity, and geomag. They're the six sensors you're gonna get on this phone. Also, the rear camera is a 13 megapixel camera. And then moving on to the front facing camera, we can take a look at this. We have an eight megapixel uh, camera on the front. Now moving on to the features section, as you can see, NFC is not supported on this uh, phone. And also there's a bunch of other stuff which you would expect at this sort of price point. Now also moving on to the battery, this is just sort of an estimate. As you can see here, the battery at 30% lasts for 5 hours and 24 minutes. And also nighttime, you can see 7 hours and 12, and daytime 1 hour 30 minutes. And you can see they're just estimates on there. Now also did a scan with ESET, and you can see here it did find Super App Lock. I'm not sure if this is a false positive, I need to look into it, but it did find one threat. Now also the Wi-Fi was pretty good on here, as you can see, getting good signals, and I had no trouble downloading everything via the Wi-Fi on this phone, so the Wi-Fi works pretty well. Display uh, tester come up with the 720 by 1440 uh, P, you can see 5.72 times 11.43 site screen size. We also have the uh, DPI, which is 320 by 320, uh, at color depth at 32 bits pixel refresh rate 57.32 hertz and as you can see the density dpi is 320 and that is what all the uh, screen display the gpu type was the mali t860 on here as well now you can play games on here uh, i tested a few games and they worked out pretty well so the games on here you can play have no trouble at all at playing this is a beach buggy racer awesome game if you've not tried it out give it a try it's a pretty uh, good game. It's free to play as well. And uh, reminds me of the Nintendo uh, Mario Kart type game, but pretty cool uh, to play. So you can play games. Also videos on YouTube uh, stream down pretty well, as you can see here. Quality on the screen is good enough for this sort of entry level type uh, smartphone. Also, you'd only be able to stream this down at 720p on this particular type of phone, which is expected. Now, the sound quality on here was okay and adequate. Let's have a listen to some music to see what it sounds like. The phone does get rather hot to touch when you're doing certain stuff like gaming and stuff, but as you can see here, the scrolling works pretty well, no problems there. The zoom and pinch, as you can see here, works pretty well. There's no bleed on the fonts there. They look pretty sharp and nice, which is pretty nice for a sort of entry level smartphone at around about $145. You can also see here, we do have some features on here like video, photo, beauty, and face cute, and a bunch of other features on here as well, which you can uh, mess around with. Uh, there is some other uh, bits on here as well, which you may want to mess around with like uh, HDR, and also some filters and we'll take a quick look at those. So let me just go back into photo here and uh, sk squipe this to the side and then go up to the top here. You've got some panorama, also watermark, time-lapse and uh, beauty video. You can do those as well. Click on the um, settings here and take a look. We can see you mess around with the resolution, also the storage path, uh, facial recognition, all those sort of uh, settings you can play around with capture smiles bitrate uh, touch screen to take photos and all that sort of good stuff also hdr is off 
and there's also a bunch of filters on here if you want to put filters on your photos and I did take some photos here of this cactus and as you can see it's not too bad for a £109 phone so it's around about £109 uh, give or take uh, depending on where you get it from and I don't think they're too bad really uh, they're not the best photos in the world but then you're not paying a lot of money for it you are only paying £109 for this phone instead of paying uh, you know for £500 for a Samsung Galaxy uh, S8 so as you can see here the detail on the video is still pretty good it's acceptable you can see the spines on the uh, cactus there I try to zoom in here just to show you whether it uh, has any problems and that's zooming in on the actual phone itself so not too shabby it's not too bad uh, low light obviously you're going to uh, suffer a little bit but it does a pretty good job all round uh, for this sort of uh, entry level smartphone anyway I'm going to leave all the information in the video description if you want to get your hands on one of these. I think it's a pretty decent phone for the money. Uh, depends on what, how much money you want to spend and how deep your pockets are. So if you're in the market for a cheap budget phone, then you might want to check this one out. I'll leave all the information in the video description. Anyway, time to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.